Hey YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way, at the time of this recording, to set up live preview in VS Codium. But first, if you like videos like this, please subscribe as that would help out a lot. Okay, so let's get started. So I have this HTML file open and it just basically has a poem that I had deepai.org write for me. Um, and then I surrounded it with HTML tags. Okay, but let's say I wanna preview this in the browser and make changes. Well, I can open the file and then do refresh and that kind of thing, but it's better if I have some kind of live preview set up. So what I'm gonna do is go to extensions and I'm gonna type in live here. And you'll see if I go down, I have this live server from Ritwick Day. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I click on this here to see where it's coming from, we'll see that it's in the openvsx.org. So it's been moved here. So it's now available for VS Codium. Okay. I'm going to click install and that's going to go ahead and take a few moments to install. And then we'll start up the live preview. Once that's gone ahead and installed, we can close this out and we can go back to our regular file explorer and open up this HTML file here. Now, if we want the live preview, we can go down to the bottom here where it says go live and click on that. And here's the live preview. So now the live preview is running. If I wanna change something, like let's say I have the max width of the body to 800 pixels, I could change that to say 900 pixels and save. And now we've got, it automatically updates instantly. I don't have to refresh or anything. And we've got it wider. Let's change it to, let's make it 1100 pixels and save it. And now it's automatically changed again. So instant changes that we can see in our HTML documents. So when we're building a web page, this is really helpful. Okay. To stop the live preview, you just go down to where it says port 5500, click on that and that'll stop the server. And you can start it again by just clicking on go live. So it's as simple as that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like as it would help out the video. Thank you.